What happens to water after you've used it? How is it treated? Where does it end up? It's probably not something you think about, but it is a service you've come to expect and rely on, whether you're at home, at work, or out in the community. For 80 years, the Green Bay Metropolitan Sewerage District, or GBMSD, has dedicated itself to protecting public health and welfare through the collection, treatment, and reclamation of wastewater. GBMSD provides wastewater treatment services to more than 217,000 residents in a 285 square mile area. It is not connected to any one city, town, or village, but serves 17 municipalities and one direct industrial customer. On average, GBMSD's two facilities, one in Green Bay and one in De Pere, clean and return 38 million gallons of wastewater to the Fox River and the Bay of Green Bay every single day. Think about that, 38 million gallons a day. That's enough to fill 760,000 of your average size bathtubs. GBMSD takes great pride in what it does. In fact, it is an award-winning wastewater treatment facility, having received the National Association of Clean Water Agencies Platinum and Gold Peak Performance Awards for 100% permit compliance, the Sierra Legal Defense Fund's first place ranking for excellent wastewater treatment operations on the Great Lakes, and the Environmental Protection Agency's award for outstanding operations. So what would life be like without having somewhere for used water to go? That was an issue residents throughout the Green Bay area dealt with in the early 1930s. They realized that a wastewater treatment facility was necessary to protect public health and safety, to keep businesses operating and economic development growing. The residents cared enough that they raised nearly two million dollars for construction of a treatment facility during the Great Depression. Just as the residents of the past planned for the future, GBMSD is also planning for the future but it faces some serious challenges. By May 2016, GBMSD will have to meet stricter environmental air pollution standards and current equipment is not able to meet the new standards. In addition, most of the main solids processing equipment is from the 1976 treatment plant expansion and upgrade. It needs to be replaced as maintenance has reached the point where fixing the aging equipment is becoming increasingly difficult and presents some serious safety concerns. This is especially of concern because the solids processing equipment is pushed to maximum capacity almost every day in order to handle all the current wastewater demands. Over the next five years, GBMSD will be designing and constructing a new resource recovery and electrical energy generation system known as R2-E2. This system will provide safe, reliable service to the greater Green Bay area for years to come. We are, as communities, stepping away from the traditional view of just disposing waste to viewing what is sent to GBMSD as a resource to recover and reuse. This plan was developed over the past two years with the input and involvement of local municipal and industry representatives, the organizations that are our direct customers. The project involves building two anaerobic digesters which break down biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen and reduce the volume of the material to be processed. In addition, the digesters will produce a methane gas which will be captured and processed into a biofuel used to produce electricity. Capturing energy from digesters is a process used by many treatment facilities. Nearby, the Sheboygan Regional Wastewater Treatment Facility uses digesters and micro turbines to create energy and add value to its customers. The digesters uh, in Sheboygan have been here since 1982 and they've been operating for 30, nearly 30 years. In the wastewater treatment world, anaerobic digestion is the best way to, to remove your solids. Anaerobic digestion produces methane gas that can be used to produce electricity and uh, used for heat. We're at a point where there are times that we produce over 100% of our energy on site and, and, and actually push power back out onto the grid. We've nearly eliminated our natural gas purchases. If you want to really look about being sustainable and, and doing what is right, 
anaerobic digestion is one process and one means to do that. GDMSD will also recover the heat from a new incinerator, which will replace its existing 35-year-old incinerator. Through thermal processing, the heat from the system will be recovered and used for building heat or electricity production. The new equipment will be more efficient, effective, and meet the new stricter environmental air permit standards. The R2-E2 system is expected to cut GBMSD's annual energy costs in half during the first year alone. That's an estimated savings of more than $2.2 million. And GBMSD, producing much of its own energy, will be able to minimize its expenses as energy costs rise in future years. Plus, there are additional benefits of the R2-E2 system. It will help GBMSD reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 22,000 metric tons, or the equivalent of removing 15,000 vehicles from the road. And the system will also accept different types of waste directly, such as dairy, sugar, and food processing wastes, which GBMSD cannot do today. These wastes would otherwise be spread onto nearby fields or landfill. By accepting these types of waste, digester energy production can be increased by 50% or more, proving a consistent and environmentally friendly waste outlet. But as with any major project designed to meet new regulations and standards and designed to last 30 years or more, there is a cost. The R2-E2 project will cost approximately $147 million. It's a big investment, but one that was deemed to be the most cost-effective over the long run by GBMSD engineers and consultants, as well as the local municipalities and industries involved in the planning effort. The project will be paid for through GBMSD's municipal wholesale rate charge. That's the rate it charges its direct customers. It's important to note that because GBMSD wholesales its services directly to municipalities, it does not bill residents directly. Each municipality sets its own wastewater treatment rate, so the impact of these increases will vary from municipality to municipality. Generally, GBMSD's current charges make up less than half of the average household's sewerage charge, which is part of your combined water and sewer bill. Wastewater treatment is a service we've all come to expect, and it is, and always will be, an important component in our quality of life. Just as Green Bay Area residents saw the need to protect public health and safety in the 1930s with a new treatment facility, we need to move forward on construction of a new solids handling facility to successfully meet new environmental standards, expectations of continued quality service, and to capitalize on future opportunities.